shot of Emily Harvey running with a prosthetic leg. She speaks to the camera from a park. I'm Emily Harvey. I'm a disability rights attorney, a triathlete, and an amputee. Many people struggle to get appropriate prosthetic limbs because they're expensive and insurance companies often provide inadequate coverage. Shot of Emily running. People gain and lose weight hearts wear out. And if you're like me and you lose a limb at a young age, you need a new leg pretty much every year. I met up with Zach Harvey to talk about some of these issues. Shots of Zach building prosthetics. Zach is a prosthetist at Creative Orthotic and Prosthetic Solutions in Denver and he also happens to be my husband. The cost associated with the prosthesis is dependent on a number of things. The uh, technology that we choose to use, the level of amputation, if we use something with a microprocessor in it, that's going to be more expensive. So it could range anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000, uh, which you know, a lot of people look at that cost and they think, wow, I could buy a, a car for that amount of money. So Medicare, they can be a little slow to adopt new technology shot of a high-tech artificial hand. They want to make sure that there's evidence behind some of the new products coming out. The problem is that there's not a lot of research being done, and so it might be years before Medicare will start paying for some of the newer devices. Medicaid generally pays pretty low. Because of the low reimbursement, a lot of times clinicians are choosing uh, cheaper products in place of better, more expensive products due to low reimbursement with Medicaid. Private insurance generally follows suit with Medicare guidelines, except that there's often exclusions built into the insurance policies. Shot of a man with two prosthetic legs. For example, they might have exclusions on multiple devices. They might have exclusions on microprocessor devices. It can take a long time uh, with private insurance companies to get the patients what they need. Alina Miller speaks from Zach's office next to assorted prosthetic legs. Insurance has been a battle. It's definitely, so far, um, they've rejected all legs. I met up with Alina to talk about her experiences since losing a limb earlier this year, including her ability to access what she needs. Currently, I think I can get one every three years. Shot of Zach adjusting Alina's leg with a small tool. And, I mean, it's hard with this first year because I'm constantly shrinking and having to change and my insurance hasn't covered any of it, so... <laughs> it's, I mean, really incredibly important to have such, like, a good leg. I mean, I'm young, I'm 26, I'm really active, and if I can't have a leg or can't even have a leg that meets my needs, then it changes my quality of life drastically. So it's really important to me to have coverage and then be able to have coverage with the doctors that I want to. Because I want to be able to see my regular prosthetist now that I've formed this, you know, relationship. You can't just leave. It's like a breakup. <laughs> Shot of Zach consulting Alina. They rely on us to take care of them and we have limitations uh, because of insurance companies and coverage that they, they can't get. Shots of Emily running. Access to prosthetic limbs can be tough. This issue affects the roughly 2 million people in the U.S. who have limb loss. Additionally, there are approximately 185,000 people who have a limb amputated every year, so this issue isn't going away. I believe that access to healthcare, including adequate prosthetic limbs, is a human right that we all deserve. Written and directed by Emily Harvey. Special thanks to Zach Harvey and Alina Miller. For more videos from storytellers like me, visit rootedinrights.org and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and our YouTube channel at Rooted in Rights Video.